I really went, went back and listened to my mixtape catalog. Mm. And I was just like, what did I do over the course of these 10 projects that got people into this this music I'm making? The movement. Yeah. Where, what, what, what happened? What did I do? And I just listened. And I'm like, what songs can I still listen to? Mm. From 08, from 09, oh, yeah. oh, 010. And I could still listen to a few. Not all of them. Mm. But I, I remember, I, it kind of gave me some insight on, you know what I mean? Yeah. What I did right. And um, I just, when I went into this project, I just was like, I want every line to be something that, you know, if we cut the music off, mm. you know, it stands, it's, 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 it's solid. Mm. You know what I mean? It's not, I don't, I don't want, I want every song, every hook, every verse, every line. I just want it to be pure and just on the, on the bullseye. And we had to do a lot of songs and take a lot of time. But mm. what I thought was like, damn, if I'd have took three off of this mixtape, excuse me, two mm -hmm. off of this mm -hmm. mixtape, one off of this one, four off of this one, I'd have had a timeless piece of work. Mm. And you know, that's what the fans are into you for because they got all of them and mm -hmm. they probably made their playlist. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if they'd have got it all on one project, that project would have been timeless. Mm -hmm. 